Welcome to Wanna Gymnasium here at Sidwell Friends School. It is time for another quarterfinal at game in the DCHL, the District Columbia Hockey League. We are on the campus of Sidwell Friends. As I said, we have the number eight seed, Triple D's against number one seed, Blood Red. Uh, we'll leave it as an exercise to the reader to determine which one is which. Big shot in front and Phil with a uh, difficult miss. Uh, Blood Red got the top seed on virtue of finishing nine and one during the season, while Triple D's were one and nine and finished eighth. But all eight teams made the playoffs, which means it's a brand new season. Anybody can win. We got a steal here by uh, by Ben trying to find a man in the corner. Playing it back, unable to get anywhere, and it's no! Honey preventing this, the uh, break by Boris. Ball in the corner and fighting for it with Ben. Goes around, can't quite get it around the net. Second try, it's Glenn, shot goes wide, and it's going to get there first. Mike tries to steal it away, can only get it as far as Boris. Boris now with a one-on-one -on -one with Honey. Passes to Tommy in the middle, that's a goal! Oh, Boris initiates the break, Tommy there to finish. one nothing. all ready to blood red. What about the next one? Or we'll yeah. We're only a minute 20 into the game here. It's already one nothing to red, thanks to a goal by Tommy Bowser from Boris Senatorov. Now Jonas plays it back to Steve Caulfield. He loses it in the corner. Play between Steve and Mike for it. Uh, nobody seems to be able to get there. Ball has gone around a few bags. We have a running clock here, so yes, this is time off the clock. Blood Red is ruled as having possession. Stolen by Lynn, unable to get a good shot off, and Honorbon will make the will bring it around behind the net for the clear, which is kind of a strange play. Up to Jonas trying to get it around Mike. Mike breaks up the two man in the corner, but cannot get it to Simon. We got a fight in the corner, and it is Steve getting there first. He's gonna play it back to Honorbon. Mike trying to crowd it up. Sorry, that was Jonas who had it passed up to Honorbon. Got those two mixed up and take a close enough look. Now Honorbon cannot get it past Honey in the corner. Mike brings it forward and into the green zone. Triple Deeks trying to get a win for the first time. Trying to get mobile wins, excuse me, for the first time in their history. Ball is kept in, but only as far as Steve Caulfield. Jonas ruled off sides. He's going to have to come back. Ball played in. Tom Marston on the goalie for Blood Red, able to play it forward. Gets it to Jonas, but too far, and this ball goes into the corner. Jonas now, ready to start the offense. He's looking for a shot. No, gets it off to Steve. Back to Jonas, and that ball is going to be saved by Roderick, the goalie for Triple Deeks, and he falls on it to cause the stoppage in play. Quick offense has been the ammo of Blood Red all season. They are hoping to build off of an early 1 0 lead. But bear in mind, one goal is not going to even come close to winning this game. The average score has been about 7 to 5 all season, depending upon who plays who. Ball is played back, but Nandor able to keep it into the offensive zone. Mike with the steal of the end pass, and he's going to send it out. This is the third quarterfinal game so far this season. We had two last week. The first one saw the Blue Barracudas, the three seed, against the Scorpions, the six seed, and almost had an upset in the making. The Scorpions were up 2 0 after two periods before they were unable to seal the deal. Blue Barracudas started hitting their shots, and it finished 4 2. Shot there, saved, and cleared. The second game was the 4 5 game between Pravda and Afterburners. But Afterburners found themselves playing with a second string goalie, and it showed almost another goal in there. No, just outside. As I was saying, Pravda able to get goals on the board in bunches in that one. Afterburners took advantage of defensive lapses, but not enough. The end result was the highest scoring game in DCHL history, regular season or playoff, a 19 to 10 win for Pravda. Now Boris trying to cut through the middle. Pass to the front. Oh, left an open net, but cleared away. Ball comes around to me. I'm not allowed to do anything about it. Nandor sends it in the back zone. He's going to bring it across the line. And Red is now on the offensive. Mike Lindenbaum, captain the Triple Deeks, able to break it up. Throws it down to the other net, and Tom plays it calmly up to Boris. You can see Phil left a little early for Blood Red going across the half line. You don't have instant offside in this league. We have a delay offside call. Now a long shot by Lindenbaum. That one is saved by Tom, who will play it back the other way. 
Ball is now in the double offensive zone, I guess the best way to put it. Both teams are sitting themselves on offense right now. Quick play by Simon, unable to get anywhere. And he keeps it in for Green, but it's stolen by Boris. Boris trying to get around his man shot, saved by Roderick, and Mike with the claiming of the rebound. He's going to send it back the other way. Nandor chases it down in the corner as we have 9 minutes 40 seconds left here in the first period. 1 nothing to Blood Red. Unable to get Phil in a uh, timely manner. Rolls into the corner where Honey is able to recover it. Honey playing it forward, but only as far as Tommy. This ball is going to go across the line. Red will have to retreat as Numa plays it forward. Goes into the soccer net in the corner. Possession of Green brings it out for a live ball and just dumps it down the other way. Now Tommy, who's already scored the goal in this game, finds Honorbon, who's looking for Boris. Gets slightly away, but Red is able to recover, try and stay on the offense. Ben for Triple Deeks, holding it away. Plays it to Lynn, but Tommy is there to steal it. Back into the corner, and Boris takes it away. Trying to keep on offense, gets it to Tommy. Could lightning strike twice here. Tommy with a shot, saved by Roderick. No, it rolls through him and in. Tommy with his second goal of the game, once again from Boris. It is 2-0 Blood Red. We have eight minutes, 30 seconds left here in the first period. 2-0 to Blood Red. As we get ready for the faceoff, Ben and Honorbon taking it. Honorbon wins the faceoff to Tommy. You will notice that in these faceoffs, nobody's trying to shoot off of them. That is actually a rule put in place to prevent leg injuries. You have to try and play it sideways or backwards off of the faceoff. Now, Honey is uh, holding up in the corner. Oh, loses her balance. Allowing Steve to get away, looking in the middle. There's Tommy, looking for the hat trick already. Passes it off to Anarbon, gets it back. So I'm going to take a shot. No, he's going to play it to Anarbon. Anarbon with got, got tipped over to Steve. Saved by Roderick. Now it is Steve and Honey fighting for it. Steve gets it to Tommy to Anarbon. Big save off the helmet by Roderick. Recover, Tommy. He's going to take his shot. No, pass it off to Steve for the goal. You can't let Blood Red have that many chances. Tommy looked like he was going for his third. Instead, passes it off to Steve. It is 3-0. Is the route on? We have 7 minutes and 20 seconds now left in the first period. 3-0 off of the goal by Steve. Now Mike Lindbaum bringing it forward. Tipped away by Tommy. Lynn tried to play it in. Mike with a shot that goes way over the net. In the corner. It is Tommy and Mike fighting for it. Probably two most talented players for the two teams. Shot in by Honey, but only as far as Tommy. Now Tommy brings it up, gets around Honey. We've got a two-on-one the other way. Tommy in no position. He's gonna have to look for the pass. Oh, what an incredible shot. Tipped away by Roderick. Honey bringing it around the back. We'll play it up. Ball goes behind the bench. Numa will fish it out. It is still red zone. Now it is cleared, and Honorbon will have to chase it down. In the corner, Tommy trying to bring it up. He's got Jonas, but it's taken away by Simon. Simon throws it back the other way. Only to midcourt. Mike with the shot that goes wide. Tom the goalie is going to play it over to Honorbon now. Honorbon decides to bring it around the other way. Plays it high in the air. Jonas is racing Simon to the ball. He's got it. Better shot at it. Throws it on net. Roderick easily tips it away, and now the pass is to Mike the other way. He's going to take a shot. Big save by Tom. Mike looking for help on the offense. Gets caught in the corner. Jonas able to make the steal. Back the other way now. Oh! Good, good, good. Phil able to get back across the line in time to validate the red offensive play. Jonas has it in the corner. He's looking for a man. He's got Honorbon. Honorbon trying to get around. Mike does so. He shoots. That one is tipped by somebody and knocked wide. Back in the middle. Honorbon keeps it into Jonas. Jonas looking to get it around. Simon gets it to Honorbon. There's the shot. This one goes wide in the net. Simon now fighting forward and clears it into the corner. Defense substitute means that Ann is able to get there first, but Mike takes it away, only to get it as far as Tom, the goalie. Up to Honorbon, who's going to play it back into the zone. No, kept in by Ben. Triple Deeks trying to get something out of this offensive. Unable to get anywhere. 
Long play now. Now, Phil trying to play it forward. Geeks are able to control it. Oh, swing and a miss. Recovery by Simon. And now able to play it forward to Nandor who finds Phil. Phil trying to get around Ben, cannot do so yet. Now into the middle. Oh, quick shot that goes off of the back of the net on the outside, so no goal. Nandor plays it in the corner, trying to get around Mike. Able to make a couple of moves and get it around him to Jonas. Jonas in front, looking for the pass back to Nandor, cannot get it there. Nandor coming around the side now. Running into Ben, into a little bit of trouble in the corner. Both teams trying to get help there. Nandor playing it forward, and it gets away from everybody. He's going to roll down to the other end, and it will be recovered by Lynn first for Triple Deeks, putting them on the offensive. Two goals by Tommy so far, another by Steve, and that is why we are 3-0 so far. And playing it up, recovered by Simon. Into the corner, unable to get any further. And plays it to Nandor, trying to get something started the other way. Honey keeps it in for Triple Deeks. And now Ben unable to keep the offensive possession. Phil plays it forward. Oh, look at that. Simon able to keep it in for Triple Deeks. But it's too far. But, and Jonas now on the breakaway. Passes it back to Nandor, who wasn't ready for it, and it gets away. Phil able to keep it in. Simon, though, plays it out. And it's going to be the goalie, Tom, playing it first. Gets it to Jonas at the center. Jonas cannot get around Honey. And Simon is able to keep it in for the Triple Deeks. He's going to take a shot. That one blocked by Ann. Coming around the end, we got 3-10 left in the first period. Mix up on offense means that Triple Deeks will recover, but they are 3-0 down here in the first period. Now Nandor trying to bring it forward. Playing it into the middle, unable to get anywhere. Shot goes wide from Nandor. Now gets it back to Steve. Steve looking for a second save by Roderick. Well saved. We've had a lot of end-to-end -end action in this first period. Not too many stoppages of play, which is kind of like we want around here. Now Steve looking for Boris. Boris has it front and center. He's got Nandor screening him. There's the shot, still saved by Roderick. And we're trying to figure out what happened. We've had a whistle, and it looks like they're going to rule this one a dead ball. Not sure whether it was back in front of that. Doesn't really matter at this point. The whistle's the whistle. Played back now to Boris. And look forward, he's got Tommy making a run. But he says he's going to take it himself wide to the net. Roderick able to knock it away, but only as far as Steve. Second shot, that's saved as well by Roderick, and he falls on it. Very well done to keep this a 3 nothing game. 155, 155, the announcement. Mike's able to play it forward, gets it around, and Mike trying to make something happen out of nothing. Oh, gets away from Ben and Boris back the other way. We got a two-on-one the other way. Tommy playing it back to Boris. There's a shot. That one goes high. May have been tipped by Roderick, but either way, no goal. And swings and misses on her shot, and the ball goes out of the zone. Red has to reset. Oh, stolen by Mike. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Saved by Tom, and he's going to fall on it. Wow. What a wild turn of events there. Both sides nearly having goals. Two on one, one way, a breakaway the other way. Both goalies come up big with the denials. We got a minute 11 left here in the first period now. Played back to Steve, looking forward for Tommy. He's all alone. He's going to have a shot. Can't get it in. Follow shot, and that's fallen on by Roderick. As we are beneath the one minute mark at this point. Great positional play by Blood Red, able to get an open man, but did not have the angle for the finish. Face off is won by Blood Red. Out to Tommy, who's being harassed by Kristen. Passes it back to Ann, gets the give and go. In the corner, trying to get around Simon. Tommy now on the wing, being double teamed, gets it to Steve. Steve's gonna pass to Boris. That one is kicked away by Roderick. Now Triple Deeks trying to go the other way. This one is cleared, Red resets. Steve brings it forward, it's 20 seconds to go. That shot is wider than that by Steve. Follow up by Tommy, saved by Roderick, followed by Boris, that's saved by Roderick. Now the defense is back to help him out. 
Time is running out here in the first period, which has been all blood red. Flashes of hope for the Triple Deeks, but unable to get anything really started. 3 nothing the score at the end of one. Started 